What's going on? It's Jay with Aquastar Distributors. Gonna talk to you guys today about how to properly operate an electronic vacuum flush head. And today I have a very special guest. This is my son. Hi, I'm Dr. Nikki. Dr. Nikki. Now, the reason why Nikki's here is normally your kids are the cause of a very common problem that we're gonna go over in this video. So stay tuned and we'll get to it. So the proper operation. It's probably jiggling around a lot. You might get a little nauseous, but it's real world. You're on a boat, things are moving around or you're on an RV, all right? So, Dr. Nikki, do me a favor. We have a green light, correct? That is correct. Hit the flush button. Okay, here we go. Green light, okay to flush. Now the red light's activated. We added a little water to the bowl. The system flushed. Waste went down through the toilet into the vacuum generator. The pump is now regenerating the vacuum. And as you can see in the shaky hands of my son, we have a red do not flush light. Okay? Now, the vacuum generator has shut off. It satisfied the vacuum switch, which is over here. And now we have a green light. It's okay to flush. So, the common problem that we see, two things caused most likely by your children. Now, Nikki, press and hold that flush switch for five seconds and count out the Mississippis. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. And you can see that we have a blinking green light. We have a blinking green light. So something has changed. The vacuum generator is regenerating vacuum. Waste went down through the toilet into the vacuum generator and is getting discharged into the holding tank. Now what's not shown here is the inside of this bowl. But, Nikki, give me a regular fl flush, press and release. Now when Nikki said we can see the different light, that changed the water mode. So now the toilet is in low water mode. It's a very common problem. People will call us and say, there's no more water in my bowl. Well, probably your child, your nephew, grandson, whatever it may be, put your toilet into low water mode, okay? Uh, in order to get it back in the high water mode, press and hold flush for five Mississippis again, please. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Those were quick Mississippis, so hopefully he did it enough. Again, the pump is regenerating vacuum. Shut off at hopefully 10 inches of vacuum. Satisfied the vacuum switch. Now, in order to see the change in water modes, we need one more regular flush. So flush it for us again. Just a regular push and release. These are real world problems. Now, Nikki did a great job. Now we're in the regular water mode. So once that vacuum generator shuts off, I'll show you another cool little trick. Pump is running, satisfying vacuum. Now we have a then green light. Stops. Now, Nikki, tap that add water button twice, quickly. Anything change? No. Yeah, our lights are off. So it's very common. There's an illuminated panel. There's actually been a couple variations. Uh, one of the them- The green light is on. Right, we have a green okay to flush. But in order to change the, let go Nikki for a second, thanks. The backlighting, you tap add water, one, two. That turns on the lights. In our studio here, it's a little difficult to see. Um, this is the original version of this switch, so it's green. The new ones have that really nice blue color. All right, so a proper flush. We add water. Press and release the flush button. Standard flush. Very simple. The red light is activated for two reasons. One, insufficient vacuum, which is what we have. 
the pump is running, trying to satisfy the vacuum switch. Okay, once that shuts off, perfect, green light. If that's off and we still have a red light, it's possible that we have a full holding tank lockout. Okay, it's a great feature for our electronic flush toilets. It has a full holding tank lockout feature. Um, not recommended for the average boat owner, but service mode. You can sit here and click it all day long. Nikki, would you do me a favor and give me a five Mississippi on service mode? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Let go. So, it's in service mode. The half ball inside the toilet is currently locked open. The pump is going to run because it's trying to satisfy the vacuum switch and achieve that 10 inches of vacuum required to shut it off. So as long as that half ball is open, it's gonna continue to do that. If you have a clog in the system or something's wrong, that may be useful but quite honestly, I recommend contacting a professional. Um, on our website, I do have the user manual for this vacuum switch, um, but we're gonna go ahead and shut that off. So Nikki, give me another five Mississippi. On service? Yes, please. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Perfect. Good little test if you're ever having any serious issues. You can tap that vacuum switch. Kind of jostles the position of it. Um, to get the cover off, pinch in the middle, pull up. If you pull the switch up out of the tank, your pump should be running. Down in the tank, full vacuum, it should not be running. Uh, very primitive test, but it can be useful. I will tell you this, no one has their vacuum pump a few inches away from their toilet. This is a training display that we use for our super tech training class. So um, your grandkids or son will probably break it. Um, these covers about 50 bucks now. Thank you. Smack the like button. They don't need to smack the like button yet. Um, so that's proper operation of an electronic vacuum flush toilet. How to change the water mode, how to put it in service mode. Uh, one little trick on the older toilets Behind the seat, there used to be a service mode. Very common, a customer will call, so they'll say, I put the brand new toilet in, I wired everything perfectly, and the half ball is stuck open. Well, what happens is, this is a male, this is a female, they look like they go together. Two things can cause this issue. Number one, somebody messed around with the wiring and has now hot wired the toilet into service mode. Number two, which I'll talk about as soon as this vacuum generator is satisfied. The second reason that caused us to go into service mode, the service switch was behind the toilet. Um, you have a bunch of guys on the boat using the toilet underway. Aim could be a little uh, loose, or you have a young child that likes to go all over the seat, not inside the bowl, it can short the switch out. So that's another problem that we see from time to time. Hey, my toilet, it's open, it won't close. And the reason is the switch is shorted out. But if you guys need to order any replacement parts, need technical assistance, you can give us a buzz or visit us on the web. Thanks.